Hello, hello. How's everybody today? I am doing good. I am sorry it's been a hot minute. Um, I think it's been like 10 days since I posted a video. I'm so sorry. Um, Rob was really sick and then I was kind of feeling blah, but I didn't really get like sick sick like him. So I just needed a couple days just to sleep kind of thing. Yeah, so it's this stuff, that stuff, Thanksgiving and all that, blah, blah, blah. So, all right, I'm starting to feel back to normal now. Um, so I have a little haul. I've kind of bought things over the past few weeks, like just like, you know, a couple things here and there. Um, so this is kind of just an accumulation of a bunch of different places. I'm going to start with last night. My lovely husband took me for Chinese food as this week is my birthday. So there's my little fortune. Achievement is 1% aspiration and 99% perspiration. But this is the real cool thing. That's a pearl. I had mussels. They have mussels at the buffet. Isn't that cute? And the, the waitress was really odd because she was from like Ontario. So she's <laughs> never, she's uh, not from, you know, near the ocean. This is a, a pretty common thing. It's, it's not, it's not super unheard of or whatever. Um, yeah, where you can find uh, pearls. Oysters are the only um, mollusks that make pearls. There's also, yeah, mussels will do it. I believe clams, some clams maybe. Could be all, I don't know, scallops will. I believe. Isn't that cool? So that's my little pearl. I got a little pearl for my birthday. I think I'm just gonna like tape it into a journal or something. <laughs> this is what this is what we did to um, make sure I wouldn't lose it. I'm like, it's a 40 drive, 40 minute drive home. I'm gonna lose this for sure in the car. So the waitress got me some tape. So yeah, Rob had that idea. It's like, just fold it in a piece of tape. I'm like, oh, okay. So speaking of cool sea treasures, um, I did go down a few weeks ago down to, um, down to the, uh, across the street um during low tide and or what was supposed to be low tide now i'm learning there's low low there's low tides and then there's low low tides and during low tide it doesn't expose a whole lot of the beach there um where i am so yeah i need low low tide but anyway i did find this look at this piece of driftwood isn't that beautiful and it's all like worn all smooth it's so funny whenever i bring something home like this something nature like bird's nest rob has a hernia he's like do not bring that in the house it could have mites or something so I just brought this in and put it on a, like a shelf in the living room. So too bad, so sad. But Bird's Nest, he makes me like put them in like a Ziploc bag for like a month or so or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. He's like totally the adultier adult of us. <laughs> He's like, don't do that. Um, all right, I'm going to start with um, this is I got this from the Baktush Food Bank. Um, Baktush Food Bank um, thrift store. So the prices are really good there. It's awesome. Um, and I got this little cool roll of like, it feels like it's like nylon, I think. This plied little cord. And I think that would be really great for binding. Plus it's fluorescent pink. Got this. I'm not sure if he's vintage or reproduction. I gotta wash him. I just realized his little face is like dirty. But he's, yeah, printed on. As you can see, he's like just a pattern printed on and then cut around and then he's sewn and... I think maybe he was meant to be, I don't know if he was meant to be a doorstop. No, I don't think he's that heavy, but a doll. And in the bottom, he's got like, there's like maybe rice in there to kind of give him a little bean bagginess. But I thought he was so cute. He'll probably go on my red shelf, my red things. And then I got banter from Betty. So was banter from Betty a thing or were these just, I feel like it was something, uh, Nope. Okay, so if they were just like, these belong to somebody named Betty. For some reason, I thought it had shown a TV show or something, like they were in reference to that or something, but I guess not now. Cute, right? Dun, 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 dun. And then I got these invitations. I'm kind of picky about invitations because I have so many note cards, but I thought these were really pretty. Um, a, they're French, and B, I really, really like the uh, orchids. I think those are orchids. Yes. Um, and then I got this little box, which is cool because I'm working on the magical journal this week or well, next week, maybe. This is like a little bit. But yeah, there's some note cards and envelopes. These note cards are actually pretty uh, sturdy, too. So a little hand drawn or I assume they're hand drawn. There's no nothing on the back saying anything. It just says imported by Thai Global Imports made in China. Oh, OK neat 
And this is a little school book. I like the little plaid, right? But inside it was like purple little kind of, not graph paper. What do you call this? It's not graph paper. It's not ledger paper, really. It's, I don't know. I have some and they're like just business forms, miscellaneous business forms. But yeah, they're purple. So I thought that was really cool. So that's it from the vestiaire. Um, I also, oh, I went to Fabricville. I was looking at some fabric for curtains and um, I ended up back in their discount bins. So you can only buy a meter of their discount fabrics. You have to buy one um, full meter. So I bought this and I think technically it's supposed to be like a baby's fabric because it's got like elephants and giraffes and stuff. But I think it's really cute. Like I think it could pass for other things like not necessarily a nature theme, but something like kind of cute and stuff like the little apples and stuff and little bumblebees. I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. I will toss that aside, bring it upstairs and wash it as I do with every fabric that comes into my house, even though it's brand new. That way it'll shrink it and remove the sizing because you don't want to, um, you don't want to make something out of brand new fabric and then wash it and then different fabrics shrink differently or the colors run or whatever. Yeah. So it's definitely something I got into years ago. I had gone through and washed my whole fabric stash and then from then on washed everything that came into the house. I don't know what this was from. It was a little tag on something. It might have been a scarf I bought actually, but it's a little leather tag or maybe it's faux leather. Yeah, it's faux leather. But that's kind of cute, isn't it? And, uh, okay, um, oh, I got this. I got these at Chapters. I do not need more notebooks, but it was $5 plus it was an extra, I think, 40% off. So yeah, I got these. And they just have my initial J and they had some other initials. Okay, that's lined. I think they're all lined. Yeah, all lined. So yeah, just three notebooks and I mean they're they're stitched all the way across so it's nice strong binding and I mean they'll lay flat so I'll probably, these will probably be collage blue books. But that really is a great price. So if you have a chapters check in there, they don't really have a discount section anymore. They used to have like a discount section kind of thing but now in my chapters anyway it's kind of all over the store. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, then at the dollar store, I had gone in for something else and I grabbed these little paper bags and there's little spiders that come with them, but they're not, oh, I didn't even notice it's a little paper clip holding that on. But I like that, yeah, they're not attached to the bag. So it's just a plain bag with the spider web on it. I thought that was very cool. And then I got some little teeny tiny little gold bling. I don't need a whole lot of bling. I got a lot of bling, but that, um, I don't have little teeny, teeny, tiny gold dots, and I know I'd use those. And then, or actually, what I'm going to show you is Salvation Army next. So I was at Salvation Army yesterday. We had to go in town. Oh, sorry. So I got this. This is a record. It was so sweet because the cashier was, like, checking the record for me, and I'm like, I don't even care about the records. I'm like, I just want the cover. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, like, I think it was, like, $2.50, $2 which is a little much, but, like, since I just want the covers, but isn't that beautiful? I absolutely love this. And those are Santas. So this may end up being um, a cover for a Christmas journal. Perhaps. I don't think. Oh, I didn't even notice the black and white there. I just kind of grabbed it and went. Very nice. Very, very cool. Or this jacket here. I didn't check and see if they're. No. Okay. Let's see if they're uh, printed or anything. But yeah, I was like, oh, I'm totally splurging on that. That's adorable. And I got a little bowl for my little bowl collection. Oops, sorry. I'm trying to catch this, <laughs> this wrapping paper, <laughs> wallpaper. Um, yeah, 99 cents. It's the only President's Choice that's uh, Loblaws in Canada. So nothing like special, special, but I always love to add little bowls to my collection. I got to get on Rob for that after, after like after Christmas in the new year. Get him to make me a sh couple shelves because I need a... Uh, I need shelves to display my my small bowl collection and my Starbucks travel mug collection. Not travel mug, travel mug, but like the You Are Here series, which speaking of which, so it was only like last year I found out that the Disney um, parks each have their own Starbucks You Are Here mug. So I'm like, okay, anytime anyone I know is going to Disney, I'm totally going to hit them up and ask them if they'll buy me a mug or whatever. And like, you know, of course I'll pay them or whatever, I'll pay them a finder's fee and pay them back. Um... And I currently have a friend that I used to work with. Um, she's currently in Florida. 
So I said, okay, I don't have any. So whichever park you happen to be at, if you like, don't go out of your way. If you happen to see a Starbucks in any park, whatever, doesn't matter which one, I will, uh, yeah, I would love, love, love. And she said yes. And I didn't even have to tell her it's my birthday this week. She said yes before that. I didn't have to play that card. <laughs> so this is a wallpaper border. Really pretty. Very pretty. Hydrangeas and tulips and pansies. Very pretty. So I was just saying that today that, um, oh, I gotta cut this off because that is just goofy. It's gross. The tape has gotten gross. Um, I am trying to build up my wallpaper stash. I would love to find some from like, you know, the sixties or seventies or even older. Um, but yeah, cause they are pricey on Etsy. So hopefully fingers crossed that I will find them. And last but not least, I have got, hang on here. I'm just going to grab a piece of paper to put them on. Oh, I thought that was plain. I have some paper here that I was taking out of like, like, there we go. I'm taking out of books. So I have been eyeing online iridescent crystals. I'm not a crystal person. Like I don't believe in the whole, like, you know, they heal you and stuff. I just think they're pretty. So yeah, crystals and gemstones. So I got this one. It's an iridescent, I think he said it was a quartz, maybe. I don't know. Um, oh, that's my little, my little paper bit from my breakfast order. <laughs> um, and then this is, I know, a rose quartz. Very cool. I got these for um, my printer's trays that we're going to mount on the wall. I've got five to fill now. So, yeah. I forget what that is, but it's really pretty, isn't it? Like, I like it's like kind of like looks like a little like nebula or something inside and I believe this is quartz too it's just a regular crystal or whatever shape this is lapis lazuli which is a dark blue with little gold flecks in it very pretty oh and this is I don't think he's amethyst but yeah no I think he's probably like dyed or whatever quartz this is a kitty look at him look at this kitty look at him all right, yeah, so that's, uh, and then this pretty little bag. Look at this pretty, this pretty little bag, so cute. I might uh, give that to the recipient of the magical journal because it's kind of very mermaidy, isn't it? To me, it looks like kind of like, you know, coral or whatever, seaweed. Yeah, so that's it. That is my wee haul for this week. Like I said, I kind of uh, kept accumulating things, so now I'll be able to put them away instead of, you know, they're just in a pile on my table. Um, yeah, so I hope... I don't know when, hopefully sometime soon. I'm kind of busy, I think, tomorrow and this weekend. Um, birthday weekend, like I said. So it's kind of like tomorrow's my birthday. Yay. Um, yeah, so it's going to be kind of a busy weekend for me, I think. So I'm not sure if or when I'll be able to post a video. Hopefully, hopefully I will. But um, yeah, if not, then I'll definitely get on it next week. All right. Thanks for watching and uh, oh, definitely check out the hashtags uh, Thrifty Thursday, Thrifty Canucks. Check them out down below. All the information you need is down there. All right. So thanks for watching and uh, have yourselves a good weekend. Bye.